Welcome cooks. Today we're going back to the basics. So there's two things that we need to consider as a cook. Food safety and doneness. You do that using a thermometer. We need to keep our food out of that danger zone, 40 degrees to 140 degrees, where food pathogens love to go crazy. We also need to know when our food is done so we don't overcook it. So a core item in our kitchen is a thermometer. Today we're looking at the gold standard. We have Thermoworks Thermopen. This is fast, accurate, and it is essential for every kitchen. So welcome to the Amy Learns to Cook Kitchen. So this is my original thermopen. We bought this when we started doing barbecue cook-offs 15, 16, 17 years ago, and it still works to this day. This thing has been beat up, right? It's been thrown around, tossed in the uh, our bins, it, tossed around at cook-offs, and it's still going strong. It is amazing. This is one of the first things we bought because if you are trying to um, determine whether or not your food is done, you need to do it by temp. It's not just by time, it's by temperature, right? This will ensure that it's outside that danger zone. So there's sort of two components of needing a thermometer, the safety bacteria component, and how do you figure out if your food is done, right? And then you got the health department people. Yeah, so when we would go to cook-offs, the health department was always there in cook-offs where you're serving the public, um, the, when you're giving out samples. And so they would come by and inspect your area, your tent, whatever. And one cook-off we went to, they uh, came up and Eric showed them the thermopin and the guy was like, okay, next. And he yeah. went up to the next one. He knew that we had the proper tools, right? And he knew the thermopin and um, we passed just on having one of those. So... We're going to look at a couple of their products today, right? So this is called a time stack. And this is a uh, timer. And it has four different timer zones on it. And it is pink. One of the things with Thermopins is they have tons of different colors to match, you know, your kitchen or your favorite color or all that fun stuff. So here is a pink Thermopin! Look at that! Yay! Pink! And this is a chef alarm cooking thermometer. So this is a probe thermometer um, that has timers and it beeps and it knows. Uh, uh, it has timers. You can set it by based on temperature and all that fun stuff. Awesome! Um, also in here we have some silicone cooking tools. So we have a spatula and a brush. Whoa, we also have a couple mini spatulas. And we have some hot pads. Awesome, all made out of silicone. And we have some jelly bellies. How cute. So, wow, okay. So let's look at the uh, silicone tools first. These are in white. They come in a whole bunch of different colors. I love these because they are a little flexible on the edge, but they're still um, stiff and they're all one piece. So there's no risk of any bacteria getting stuck between the handle and the actual spatula, the scraper. Um, that's, I don't use these scrapers unless they're like this. So here is a brush for we can brush on some barbecue sauce. So this is like a little kit. So I think these all come together as a set. This is a mini that comes with a edge scraper and then like a spoonula kind of scraper. Then we have our hot pads. These are, you have to have these. These are amazing. 
And then we have a large one. This is great if you have the air fryer because you put these right in front of your air fryer. So when you slide the basket out, it goes right here and then it goes back in. So you can actually just store these in front of your air fryer. So I just want to take this opportunity to thank Thermoworks for setting this and allowing us to try these out. All these are going to be going in the new studio kitchen. So I am so happy to have these. So this is a time stack and it's a four zone um, timer. This is amazing because if you have different things going, something in the oven, something on the stove, this will allow you to have a timer for all those things. Sweet. And it's pink. <laughs> so this is our time stack. Whoa, this is pretty cool. So it stands up like this. Um, yeah, this is really nice. Whoop! Came to life. So we have four different timers here. Set. One minute. Start. And it's counting down. Set. Five minutes. Start. Set 60 minutes. This is where we're cooking a roast. Start so easy. Set nine minutes. I'm cooking some chicken tenders in the air fryer. Oh, that's 90. Clear. Nine minutes. Start. That's awesome. So you can have four things, four timers going all at once with this one little timer. I like that because sometimes the timer is going off and you can't hear it. Uh, it's nice and loud. So we're just going to hit stop and we still have our other ones going. This is cool and this is a light to light up the back of your timer. This is sweet. Okay, so one thing that's fun with the um, time stack is you can record your own beat, right? So, so you hit set, record, and hold. Boo, your food is done. Come and get it. Boo, your food is done. Come and get it. And then you hit set. So when you go set, and I'm going to go, let me just put in 10 seconds and then you can hear it. Oh. Boo, your food is done. Come and get it. <laughs> that is so funny. Boo, your food is done. Come and get it. <laughs> Boo, your food. You can revert it back to the beep. So the next we have the chef alarm cooking thermometer so let's check this out i think this is like a probe where you hit the uh and it, uh, the alarm will go off Ooh, sweet look at that so this has a little case to it yay yay and then here is our chef alarm this is really, really nice. This is like really, whoa, really, it's talking to me. Really nice. So here is our little chef alarm and it has our probe that you're gonna put into your meat or whatever you're cooking. Has a little booklet to tell you how to use it and temperatures. And say you wanna take this to your backyard barbecue or you're going on a picnic you're just going to stick it in here stick your probe in here and close it up awesome so what's neat about these probe type thermometers is they're like a set it and forget it so if you want to put some barbecue on you want to put a roast or chicken in the oven you put your 
probe into the chicken. You set this obviously outside of the oven and you set your timer, your target timer or temperature and it's gonna go off and let you know when it reaches that. So this plugs in right here and here's your probe and it's 72 degrees in here. Look how fast that was. So you can set your temp, a low temp, or a high temp, 165, or you can have an alarm. This has a light so you can see it. You can turn on and off the light, which battery saves or uh, allows you to see better. So we're gonna try out the chef alarm. We're gonna do like a whole chicken or a roast. And now the star of the show is the Thermapen. So this is the Thermoworks Thermapen uh, 1. So one great thing about these thermo pens over the ones that we, uh, the original, is these are water resistant. They are, so the water resistance is IP67. Which is probably some measurement as to how deep the water can be or something. Yeah, so it's a measurement of how deep it can go in the water. Obviously, you know, you're not gonna drop it in the river. But it allows you to take the entire thermopen under the water to wash it, right? At, or at a minimum, you can go use it in the rain, right? Yeah, you can use it in the rain, and the snow. Um, this one doesn't have that water resistance, so when we clean it, we clean this part, but we can't clean this part, right? Yeah. This, you can just put this under the water. So let's see how fast this is. So here's our thermopen. It thinks it's 77 degrees. Boom. Look at that, 150. That was like second. Uh, one of the things I really love about these is how fast they are. And the f them being fast is really important because if you have the, your meat in your oven and you pull it out, it's hot in there. You want to get this in there. You want it to read fast and you want to get your arm out of there. If you're on a barbecue, you want to get your arm in there fast and you want to get your arm out of there. You don't want to have to sit here and mm, 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 wait on the thermometer in that heat around your arm. So it's very important that you get a really fast uh, thermometer and that's what this is. So we're gonna be trying these out. We're gonna be using uh, this on a quick read on some meat. I might use it on some bread. One of the things I do is I use my thermopin on bread because you want it to be right around 199, right? To know if your bread is done. So one of the things the thermopin is great for is bread making. We're gonna go ahead and we need to test the temp of our water because we need warm water. I need it about 110 uh, degrees. We are exactly at 114. So by the time I get this in the pot, I mean into the mixer, it'll cool down to 110. So Thermopen, thank you. You are a, a majorly good tool for bread making. See how fast that Thermopen registers? The bread, this is perfectly cooked in the middle. Should be right around 200. So we're gonna be using this chef alarm and this allows you to put a probe into some meat. We're doing chicken today, so we know when it's done. Right now it's saying 165. I want it at 170. And we're gonna go start. It's currently at 71 degrees. So I'm gonna put this into the chicken. So you don't want it to hit a bone, so I just have it into the meat. Currently it's at 141, so when it reaches 170, uh, this alarm will go off. So this is great because I'm over there getting some work done and it's telling me when these things are ready. So let me probe them with the regular Thermapen. These look really nice. I'm gonna take the probe out. Woo! So let's probe them with our Thermapen. So this did a fantastic job. I was able to go get my work done, came back, and the chicken's done. You need a way to measure um, the temps. It is a necessity if you're going to cook. And I would say 
that the Thermoworks products, the Thermopin and the Chef Alarm, they're fantastic. I would say that if you want to start with something, start with your basic Thermopin. This is a workhorse for you. When you buy one of these, it will last you years and years. If you want to fully equip your kitchen, also add on the Chef Alarm. This is great, sort of a set it and for forget it for barbecue, smoking, meats, all that stuff in you, your kitchen. You can have it in the oven while you're watching something. Yeah, you can go take a nap. Right? <laughs> and there's, this is amazing. I really like this. I usually have multiple things going in the oven. Um, and the fact that this has multiple timers on it, this is great. So I would suggest like all three of these that would be fully equip your kitchen. So thanks for joining me. Uh, links will be down in the description. Thank you, Thermoworks, for sending this stuff. These are going to be amazing down in the studio uh, kitchen. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so go get you a Thermopin. Thermopin.